and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today I wanted to show you some of the seeds that I ordered this year. I do a ton of seed swaps, so I don't order a whole lot of seeds, but I do like to order some every year. Um, so this year I ordered a couple of things from High Mowing Seeds. So we have the Westlander Kale. I'm a really big fan of kale, and I like to try different varieties when I see them. So I had never heard of this Westlander Kale before, so I had to give that a try. And then we also have an Ostergrus radish. And this was an interesting radish that I'd never seen before. Um, it's, it says it's an unusual carrot-shaped radish. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a try. And also from High Mowing, I ordered some brulee butternut, but that one's on back order, so I should be getting that one here pretty soon. And then I also love to order a couple of new varieties from Wild Boar Farms. They have some of the best tomato varieties around, and this year some of their new varieties are Cosmos and Painted Lady. I think they actually have four new varieties coming out this year, but those are the two that kind of caught my eye, so I want to give those a try this year. And then I always order from Baker Creek a few things, and um, I just love the photography that they put onto their seed packets. So we have the yellow of Parma onion. I haven't grown this one before. It's supposed to be a good storing onion. And I've already planted some of these and they're doing really well. They germinated pretty easily. And then I have the Petunia balcony mix. This is a, a, a variety of different colors and I'm gonna be growing those in my hanging baskets this year. This will be the first time I've grown petunias from seed. And then we have eggplant ping tongue. And I, I don't, I'm not really a huge fan of eggplants, but I do tend to grow one or two in the greenhouse. So this one is a Taiwanese variety. And I like, I prefer the longer, skinnier eggplants than the big fat ones. So I wanted to give this one a try. It's supposed to be pretty popular. And then we have peppercress. This is more of a fall, winter type green. So I'll probably not grow that one until the fall, but I really like the, the peppery greens like this. And every Baker Creek order gives you a free seed packet and this this one I got the lipstick pepper so I haven't grown that before but I probably won't grow that this year but I might grow it next year. But it's always fun to get something for free when you do an order. And then we also have the Mizuna Benny Hushi. So this is also another fall or winter green so I'm not going to be growing that until the fall but it's it should be a good one to give a try. It's got some nice pretty red stalks on it. And then we have this multi Chinese multicolor spinach. And it's actually, I don't know why they call it a spinach, but it's actually an amaranth. And I've grown amaranth before, but I mainly use it for the seeds. But I know you can eat the leaves, and I did eat some of the leaves of my amaranth last year. But they're a pretty, pretty tasty um, green as well as seeds. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a try. And then lastly, we have this Chinese Shawo fruit radish. So this is a really interesting looking veggie. It's green, which I've never heard of a green radish before, but it's supposed to be, I think, kind of sweet. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. So that's all the seeds that I've ordered so far for this year. Um, let me know what seed companies that you like to grow or order from and let me know what you're ordering. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.